Okay, in this tutorial I will show you how to get your code added to your website, your Quantcast code. Ultimately how to set it up, or, or as Quantcast calls it, how to become quantified. Um, in my previous tutori two tutorials, I showed you the benef benefit of having your site on Quantcast, some of the advanced features of it, some things that you can do to use Quantcast to get more affordable advertising that's better targeted, going to increase your bottom line. So here I'm going to show you how to, to install the Quantcast code on your website, how to get quantified. Um, so first of all, after you set up for Quantcast, um, you'll, you'll, you go to Quant, the Quantcast website, give it your name and email address ultimately. It will send an email link, an email to you with a link to validate. After you validated, it will bring you to this, um, to this dashboard page and you'll have the option to add a website. You click add a website, it asks for your URL, it gives you your tag right here. It's got some other information we'll go through in a minute here. Um, <clears throat> first of all I'm going to find an example website, I don't want to use a real clients, so um, let's just use do, 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 do. let's see Let's pretend like we are an escrow software company. Um, we are, let's say we're Iron, Man, Iron Mountain. So um, Iron Mountain wants to install Quantcast on their website. What we're going to do is pull down their URL. Pretending, pretend, pretending this is our own website. I'm not going to actually set this up because you know that wouldn't be fair to Iron Mountain. Um, if you have a website for for kids under the age of 13, you check this. So once you've got your site in there, you're set. Then your tag, you copy this out, and you come into the website, and you, if you have access to your own HTML, you can do this yourself. Um, generally, you want the Quantcast tag on all of the pages of your website, and so you would use an, an include to get that on every web every page of your website. If you want it on just a single page, that's what I'm going to be showing you how to do here. Um, and if you don't have the technical expertise to do this, of course you can have your own um, whoever does your website do it. It's really really basic. It's basic HTML. So uh, the Quantcast asks that you put it at the bottom of the page right before the closing body tag. So we're going to look for the closing body tag. Let's see, so here's the opening body. It's the closing body will be right at the end here. So what I'm gonna do is come down, find the close body tag right here. And just put some code in. We could do this. So you do body, edit. So I'm just showing you an example here. In um, in real life, using the Google Inspector tool won't won't do it for you. Um, you know, I'll just pull the source code out. Page source. I'm going to open up a basic code editor here. Copy all this out. Drop it into code editor. So this makes it a lot easier. Um, instead of trying to edit in the Google the Google page live. Um, at the end of the body here, we just bring this in, we need to come back to Quantcast, pull out our code, and put it right here. So you just copy and paste it in. Um, I'll show you a couple, a couple little tips and tricks for this Quantcast, Quantcast tag. So here's the tag. The most important parts are your account number here, and then labels, which I'll show you in a second here. So, this is your tag, your basic tag as you've got it. Add choices privacy icon, they recommend it, I don't. If you click this, it shows a little floating icon on your website for add choices. Um, it's annoying. If you're in the EU or some other countries with overly strict privacy concerns, you may need to check this. Um, I'm not going to check it though, and I don't recommend my clients check it advanced settings so 
here you can set up specific segments. This is valuable. I showed you in a previous tutorial and you can see them here. One client has a lead confirmation homepage, mid funnel page, and purchase confirmation segment. So they're looking at individuals that come to their website overall, but they specifically want to segment just individuals who complete purchases. Um, that's beneficial because people coming to your website may not necessarily be your target market, but those making purchases are. Obviously, I mean, they made a purchase from you. So um, you can add an, an advanced segment here. And let's just say purchasers. You'll notice it changes your quantcast code up here. Right under your account number, it puts the label purchasers. This is code that you specifically want to put on your order confirmation thank you page. So after someone goes through the checkout process and hits your thank you page, you want them to come to your purchaser page. Or in the case of this escrow company, um, if you are filling out a I want more info type form, the page that they're taken to after they fill out that form should have this code on it. And for them, you know, let's it wouldn't be purchasers, it would be lead confirmation. So it puts that label in here. Um, using this little tool here, this advanced set settings tool where you can put in seg particular segments, just changes the tag here. You don't need to do this here and then hit submit. You don't need to do it here. If you just do it here, um, put in, oh, you need to put a comma after this. And labels, I believe it was just labels. Labels, yes. Lead confirmation. So you put a comma after your account account name. Labels, no comma needed. You actually should not put a comma. Do not put a comma at the end of this. Labels. This will put in a um, a label for lead confirmation. This is code you'd want to give to your developer and have him put this specifically just on the page that individuals are taken to after they request more info. Um, the code that should be throughout the site is this. Just on your lead confirmation page is this. Um, if you have a purchase page, you can do purchasers. If for some reason you want to do double segments, you can do that. You just put in a comma in and lead confirmation. So any individuals that hit this, the page that has this on here, will be dropped into the purchaser segment as well as the lead confirmation segment. Um, and then you can even go more granular. <clears throat> if you've got purchaser, purchasers of different types, let's say you've got, um, let's say again you're the source code escrow company, and people are actually making uh, well, let's say they're doing lead confirmation pages again. You're just doing lead forms. But you've got different types of forms. So you've got one for um, code escrow, and then you've got one for domain escrow. On the domain escrow page, you could do this. So someone's coming to a landing page specifically about domain escrow, and they are comp completing a lead confirmation form. On that thank you page that's targeted just for individuals who have completed a domain escrow more information request form, on that confirmation page, you put this pixel, and it puts them in a, in a specific domain escrow bucket that rolls up under lead confirmation. And then on the page just for source code escrow, you can do code escrow. And this again will roll up under lead confirmation, but be in its own bucket. Um, benefit of this is you can have two thank you confirmation pages for forms. If they submit a form asking about code escrow, they get dropped in a specific code escrow bucket. If, they, if they're asking for information about domain escrow, they roll up in that domain escrow bucket, but they also roll up under the lead confirmation thing. So everyone who has code escrow would, would be reporting under lead confirmation, and everyone that has domain escrow would also be rolled up under lead confirmation. This is valuable because you can see, um, in general, people just asking for more information, completing a lead form, will show up here. This will include both those under the domain escrow and the code escrow. Domain escrow, though, the bucket, 
in uh, Quantcast will show you just for domain escrow, code escrow, the same. Um, just let, it lets you get really granular in determining who your target market is. You might find that domain escrow is something targeted more to entrepreneurs and code escrow is targeted more to developers. Um, and each bucket you can drill down in and see demographic profiles for each of those two different target segments. So that's how you do it. You just need to make sure your quantcast code is below the end body or right above the end body tag. And then if you want to, you can put in labels as I've outlined. You don't need them. If you've got a website with smaller traffic, let's say just 1,000, 2,000, or maybe even just a few hundred visitors a month to your website, um, I would do just specifically just the just the account code until uh, you know you can do labels and get more granular, um, but it's going to take longer to to build those profiles and it won't be as accurate. So. If you're not getting more than one or two thousand visits a month to your website, I would spe specifically recommend that you do just the account level. If you're getting more than that, then yeah, drill down, break them into segments, really work your traffic. And that's how you do it.